Thank you so much, Lori. This is truly an honor. When Meredith called me about this, I was nervous. What wisdom could I share? I look across this room at this group of honorees, and it's daunting. I grew up watching the women to watch. I thought, I'm too young, too new to things, to have achieved any real wisdom. But rather than shy away from this opportunity, I leaned into the words of Golda Meir, who said, don't act that humble, you're not that great. <laughs> In thinking about what to share today, I realized that wisdom and the pursuit of wisdom is not only earned through experience. It can be gained through finding meaning, inspiration, and role models at any time. One of the first speeches I ever remember hearing was one that my incredible mother gave at a communal event when I was probably five years old. Every hour, the local radio in Israel would start its news broadcast by announcing the time, Kol Yisrael, voice of Israel, the time is. And in her speech, my mother explained that this radio call, this news alert, should be a voice to each of us. Kol Yisrael, the time to act, to do, and to become is now. That insistence on doing, on taking action, and even having some chutzpah or impatience has shaped much of my life. The organization that I founded, Emma's Torch, in many ways is an extension of that very impatience or refusal to wait. I had an idea, a spark of something that I thought might be interesting. I brainstormed it. I practiced pitching it at a JWI event. Thank you to Vered, who I think is here, who was part of my group. I kept on waiting for someone else to do it or to give me a reason not to. And eventually, sick of hearing me talk about that mythical someone else, my husband asked me the most important question of my life. Why not you? And thus was born Emma's torch. But there's no wisdom in just being impatient. I was impatient. I was very naive. But my unfair advantage was that I grew up watching impatient people take action and often do the impossible. It's not surprising that many of the first advisors of Emma's Torch are in this room and were honorees from Women to Watch. I remember being so scared to hit send on that email to say, hey, I'm doing this thing, what do you think? I was nervous it would be seen as hubris and presumptuous, impatience without any wisdom. I was fortunate though. My idea was welcomed and I was met with an encouraging and critical community who helped to turn this spark into a life-changing organization. In reflecting on this, it's made me realize that wisdom is not an individual pursuit, achieved through experience and time alone. And we can't just use lack of experience as a lack of conviction. We can and must act now, learning from others where we ourselves lack experience and wisdom. The prompt for today, a pearl of wisdom, is telling. Pearls gain luster when they're worn. If they're kept in a box, saved only for when an event is worthy, they will never achieve their maximum shine. So today, I'm honored to be a part of this event with this remarkable group of women. I can only hope to continue learning from their wisdom as I hope to share mine. Michelle Obama wrote, it isn't about arriving somewhere or achieving a certain aim. I see it instead as a forward motion, a means of evolving, a way to reach continuously towards a better self. The journey doesn't end. We all know the world desperately needs repair. I hope we can be impatient to make it happen. Thank you.